It is the end of the Napoleonic era. The Congress of Vienna is in full swing, and Clemens von Metternich of Austria is leading the charge for European conservatism. It is half a century later in Prussia, and King Wilhelm I has just appointed Otto von Bismarck as Chancellor. Otto is about to deal some serious blows to the European balance of power with real politik. Metternich came from a time of war and bloodshed. Hence he wanted stability and peace throughout Europe, whereas Bismarck knew only peace, so he wished for the dominance of Prussian power at whatever cost. Clemens von Metternich wished only for three things at the Congress of Vienna. Balance of power, legitimate monarchy, and compensation from the French. But above all, Clemens von Metternich really just wanted to keep any countries who had felt they had been wronged by Napoleon from retaliating. Bismarck knew that Prussia was the weakest of the four European powers. He wanted to make Prussia a dominant power using the realistic and pragmatic strategies of real politik. Bismarck wanted to unify all of the German states underneath Prussia to increase Prussia's power in Europe. Metternich's aspirations came to fruition at the Congress of Vienna. France's borders were restored to the 1970 borders. The Bourbon monarchy in France was restored. And France was forced to pay 700 million francs. Soon after, German nationalist and liberalist movements were shot down when the Carlsbad decrees were issued. When Metternich was against any sort of nationalist movements, Bismarck supported and even wound up siding with the German national movements. He did so because he saw the great benefit that Prussia could reap from such an alliance. Also, Metternich's foreign policy was focused on Europe as a whole, whereas Bismarck's was focused solely on Prussia and subsequently Germany. After a series of long, brutal and deadly wars, Bismarck finally unified Germany underneath Prussia. In the end, Bismarck got exactly what he wanted, whereas Austria was left in the dark.